Sorry, I'm weird. I just got my second book in the mail. My published book. I made this. Blope. And there will be more volumes of this. This is a series that I'm making of a little guy named Blope. And he goes on random adventures that make no sense. And shit happens to him that's very weird. And I'm going to read it to you. This is going to be a reading from the author. Blope. And a shout out to Risky. Yes, I am reading the thing you sent me. It's pretty good. <coughs> I'm excited. So this will be viable, by the way. I'll put it in the description. I just love the... I always make cool covers. I love this cover. And look at the back. Yes. We got a, uh, a squirrel with money stuffed in his mouth and two uh, beagles up here with lope. <coughs> no, it does not make sense. <coughs> None of these books will make sense. We got the first page here, lope. This is just a fun book for any stoner to buy. Really, it is. Or someone on LSD or mushrooms. First page says, you must be 12 in dog years or older to read this. Then the next page says, no, you must be a dog to read this. Then the next page subliminally says, yes, 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 yes. You will and you do write a review on Amazon, volume one of this book. This book I wrote when my subconscious was strong and my conscious mind was weak. As in, anything I wrote in this book, on first take, I didn't do any editing. I just, it's in here. There are tons of spelling mistakes, just warning you. Whatever came out of my subconscious mind, I put in here. Blope was a homeless seven-year-old that... <laughs> Remember how I said I messed up on words? Eats. I couldn't decide which to put. Eats rats under grocery stores. Blope was a homeless seven-year-old, is a homeless seven-year-old, that eats rats under grocery stores. If Blope was alone. Elves would bully Blope because he was small. <coughs> this is a perfect book to write a review on. Share and show this to your grandmother. Right before, oh wait, Blope was, Blope's father was a scrambled egg and his mother was a lion. Here are his parents. Right before Blope's parents gave birth. Parents? The yes? S? Oh, I really just didn't. You would think a drunk person wrote this. Just putting that out there. Right before Blope's parents gave birth. Birth? I put the R outside of the... <laughs> Blope's mother... Lion Tina died. Lion Tina died from nails, and his father ran away and got remarried to some sushi and noodles in China. That's racist, but funny. There's his dad, the little egg. Bloke was born ugly and deformed. That's a nice thing to say. There's Blope. But that didn't stop him from starting his own business at age three. At age five, Blope sold his business to Google. Google. That's a, a smart thing to do. Put an I in it. Google. For seven million dollars. He was a very rich five-year-old. 
Wow. Holy shit. <coughs> this part. I wrote really small. Until he turned seven and lost it all. And lost it all. Period. <laughs> this book is going to piss off a lot of uh, OCD people that need perfection. Lost it all. His company, Blope, fell into a huge depression where he didn't eat for six months and lived on sunlight and goat urine. He... I put event. Oh, he cut it off. He eventually began seeing sexy things like little yellow men with strong leg muscles, with strong leg muscles. He went to psychiatry, but that didn't help. He got addicted to pre prescription drugs, but those didn't help either. He knew the problem was internal. He knew he needed to face fears deep down up in his subconscious mind. So what does he do next? Here, I drew a minion, uh, teabagging him, kind of. <clears throat> what does he do next? Kill the father that abandoned him at birth. That's a nice thing to do. <clears throat> That's terrifying. <laughs> that is so fucking scary. Oh. Bloke traveled five miles on his swan fish to China. Look at the stone earth. <laughs> his swan fish to China. Daddy! That's a weird... Okay. For some reason, my brown colored pencils turned out gray. Okay. Oh. Whoa. Come on. Let's see. Son? Is that really you? Blope hugged his father. Blope hugged his father. Come on, come on. He just is slow. And then ate him. Look, there's blood. <coughs> Blope. I say it like that because it's all Blope. Blope soon realized it was Monday. I crossed out Monday and wasn't in clean. Monday wasn't clean. I get it. I get it. Soon realized it was Monday. Blope wasn't home to clean his cat. Here's a scary ass picture I made. Blope is worried about his kitten, his cat. Blope got onto his Swedish poodle, Marmalade. <laughs> Sorry. That's so stupid. Um, and flew to Texas to feed his cat. That's Marmalade. That weird deformed turtle, dragon, lizard thing. I think this was my favorite page, making it. When Blope got home, his cat was make, having a masked orgy with 17 other cats. Blope was very disappointed. I think that's my favorite random one. There might be more. I forgot what I put in this book. Blope had no other options. Blope had to eat that puss. We're referring to the cat. Blope had now become a man. No, literally. He is 15 years old now. Blope's a man now. Blope was sick and tired of college, so he bought a boat to sail the seven seas 
and get to the aliens that live past the Arctic Wall in Antarctica. Ah. Bloke met many people on his sweaty quest to the alien base in Arctic. Some, like, gay red fish thing come out of the water. Don't know what that is. Bloke traveled through the Arctic to reach... I spelled that wrong. There's no N in alien. Alien civilization. Blope once blope. Wait, what? Blope once blope. Blope, comma, once blope, I forgot to put a comma, reached the Arctic Circle. He played volleyball with the aliens. I think that is my favorite picture in this book right here that I'm looking at. When they had to send him home from the Arctic, alien civilization, I need commas in my books, in a spiked UFO. That's the spiked UFO. When Bloke woke up, he realized it was only just a dream. That's Bloke in real life. Then he fell back to sleep and died. The end. Then I have my social links on this page. Is there anything else? Wow! I think the best part of this book is the front. <laughs> Not even the back. Uh, and that's interesting. I probably didn't need any of this. I probably just needed that. This is the best of the bag. But buy this book. It's a good book to read when you're drunk. My newest book after this, the second volume of this, is going to be bigger and stranger. Just, this was pretty strange. It didn't make much sense and didn't have good punctuation. But it's good to read. It's a drunk book. You read it when you're drunk. Uh, it's a drunk book. So if you like playing drinking games, buy this book. The ideal book for our stoners. <coughs> Bye. <coughs> Bye -bye.